Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgon 111, and welcome back to Modded Rogue Legacy. We have a paladin today, uh, who looks like he's going to be a strong character. And, yeah, once again, I want to try to see if we can make some kind of progress in the graveyard. So I'm going to start things out in the forest, basically trying to find the location of the graveyard. And once we manage to do that, then we can try to uh, get some more equipment out of the more well-known areas. Ouch. Alright, it seems like these guys turn around here for some reason. That's fine. And yeah, then if we can farm some equipment and money, then we'll head to the graveyard and see if we can actually finally figure out how to get to the boss door over there. Alright. So that's the overall big picture plan, and wow, okay, we took kind of a direct hit there and it actually didn't hurt all that much. Paladin is pretty well armored, uh, kind of as a class, and we've added a bunch of armor points. Oops, their last couple of times the manor as well, and I am also getting back, I think, 25 HP per kill. Uh, yeah, so, oh, and there's chicken leg. Chicken leg! So yeah, we're going to be in pretty good shape, I think. So let's see what we can do. Just trying to... Uh... Okay, I can see the flower mod, a lot of its thingies to the right of me. Oops. Are getting absorbed by the wall there, and so basically if I stand here, I'm okay with you. And then I can jump up there and get in a little hit. There we go. Ah, except for I managed to... Oh, I knocked it back that time, and so... It's, um... The location of its projectiles was slightly moved. I thought I was still in the safe spot, but that's why. Alright. And this room is big enough that I maybe should have used Conflux, because we are getting back, I think, six magic points per kill as well. So don't be afraid to spend a little. This room is also big. Let's do that. Complex orbs. Soften things up. Just a bit. In a big room like this. And we got our magic back. Hooray. Doesn't that just work out? Oh, I should not have come that close to you when you're about to fire. And I do see that there's some more magic there. So in that case... Send some more complex orbs a-flying. Just in case they want to do good stuff for us. Alright, and then just kind of cycle around the room. Find all the various enemies. And defeat them. Alright, oh! Really? How many double jumps do I have? Just one. Alright. That's good that you guys are in sync. Oh, come on. Alright. That could have been better, but it's okay. Oh, I was facing the wrong way and then didn't manage to swing fast enough. Gosh darn it. Alright, so lock, you need to go. And I need to, ouch, I need to play better. <laughs> Alright, the good news is uh, one chicken leg would do us really good. I'm just gonna let that guy, there we go, one chicken leg, okay. Oh, two chicken leg. Alright, now we're back to maximum health. <laughs> one chicken leg, what was I thinking? Two chicken legs is where it's at. Uh, we could do this. Oh boy. Alright, one down. Let's get our money. Alright, so far so good. There we go. Finally over here. Alright. So yeah, I can fight in the forest and stay alive pretty well, it feels like. If I were taking more damage, the change to my strategy would be to spend more time looking at the minimap and discovering which rooms had exits and which ones didn't, and focusing more just on the rooms that would let me explore the most. But I think I'm staying alive just fine, and so we'll just try to go through all the rooms of the forest until we find the one we seek with the entrance to the graveyard. Alright, but in the meantime, lots of little blue dudes down. 
And a few big skeletons down. And what do we got over here? That's just a chest that I'm gonna struggle to get. So let's not bother. Um... Okay, one enemy down, but that is a mini boss. Hmm. It's not my best room. So we'll come back there if we have to. Alright, just a Gravazor, not a Terrazor. So the spikes don't stay up forever. And this guy. I can hit him from the front and do enough damage. That'll kill him in like five shots or something. That'll kill him in like six shots or something. That'll kill him in like seven shots or something. There we go. I even got a crit in there. But this character crits like half the time, so... I was expecting that. That was factored into my calculations. Alright, these guys are pretty beefy. Uh, I don't need the chicken leg that I left behind. And this is about to die, so I'll go ahead and wait just to get them whatever money it drops. There we go. And that's just a dead end. This room, I think, is easy enough that I can just do it. Oh, crap. Now you turn this way, silly knight thingy. What's your name? Power Guard. Ouch. Alright, Tower Guard. That's what I think of you. Alright, we're still doing fine. Give me my money. Alright, so from here... If I ever want to go down through this room, now's the chance. So let's just do that. It's not worth trying to fight through there. Yeah, this could go through. And these enemies are not a high level as the enemies in some of the previous rooms. You're still going to be hard to hit. Uh, let's try something crazy and sneak up behind you. And that worked reasonably well. We're going to say that worked reasonably well. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Ouch. Ugh. I should have used my shield. I'm a paladin. Alright, I'm a paladin. If I'm stuck in a field of projectiles, use your shield. Uh, I need to hurry up and kill you before the boob gets here, because then it's going to be too many enemies. In fact, while the boob is only one boob and not like ten little boobs... Yeah, same thing here. Let's just leave you guys behind. If I need hit points later, you could be worth fighting. I think you're dope. Uh, there's probably equipment in here. Oh, these guys are pretty uh, tanky, though. I don't want one of them to enrage until I have him ready to go, so I switched in the middle there. Imperial Bracers plus one. That might be good. Alright, and that's good. And let's see. This is just going to be, ouch, a dead end with some money, so it's probably not worth it, but it wasn't too hard. So we got the money. Alright, and then I was talking about basically this being a supply of hit points, if I can manage to kill these guys. So let's kill a bunch of these guys, ideally without taking damage, and get a bunch of hit points back. There we go. That was like 150 hit points, just like that. Um, poop. The red one that sets fire everywhere, as opposed to the yellow ones who only set fires occasionally. I prefer to fight the yellow ones. Yeah, even then I didn't do all that great. Alright, watch out for our spiky friends. Also known as enemies. There we go. That one is gonna die. Great. And then over here, we got a couple more rooms. Oh, hey! Uh, okay. Jukebox, or uh, whatever it is. Health restore fountain. Healing fountain. That's the word I was looking for. And it's just to the left of the teleport. So basically, when we're coming back for more health, we can get more health, not just from the whatchamacall, but also the thingy-madoodle. 
I do this, can I bounce that up into the... Yes, I can. So let's do that again. Yeah, we killed the Ponky. That was my goal. Uh, nightmare. Oops. Or Dark Stallion or whatever he is. That's a Nightmare. There's Dark Stallion somewhere over here, I guess. Yeah, there he is. That guy I wasn't so worried about. It was the Ponky. That concerned me. There we go. Another Plonky down. Oh boy, okay. Good crit. That's a dead end. Not for us though, we're still alive. Um, there are multiple ways to go here. I'm going to do a little bit of this. And a little bit of that. Uh, oh, okay. I did not find the uh, void to stand in there, but we did get a chicken leg, which means everything's going to be all right. All right. If I stand here, then I can wait patiently for my opportunities to move in. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit more fraught. Um, there's no good way to do this, honestly. All right. So I took a bit of damage. Ugh, I think I gotta do this. Oh, chicken leg, hello. How happy am I to see you? The answer is very happy. Also the answer is, these spikes can die. Um, that one I guess isn't gonna die and I'm willing to just leave the horse behind, it's fine. Uh, take no damage. I have a double jump. There we go. Strength increased. Chicken leg! <laughs> that was not worth the chicken leg. I'm such a silly goose. Um, it looks like, ah, uh, to the right. All right, this is the way I gotta go. All right, horse, give me some hit points back. Thank you. I appreciate you, horse. All right, so this room, no problem. This room is the one that we didn't do. So let us do it. There we go. All right, back up to max HP. Gosh, that guy's a tank. Oh boy. Uh, two wraths can be bad because they can really fill the whole area with projectiles. So let's get it down to one wrath. Oh gosh, all right. You, however, flame lock, blaze lock, whatever you are, are not gonna be a problem. There's a random teleporter. Uh, this room is very loud, yuck. All right, the big guys, for whatever reason, get stuck on the side of the screen, that's fine with me. I'm gonna take out the little guys first. Ouch. Well, that'll work. And then hit you, stand here and hit you in the butt. Huh, and up here is the little guys who get stuck. Don't quite understand why that happens. I don't need to understand it in order to take advantage of it. Just be like, haha, horses get stuck. Ah. I was hoping that a crit was going to kill him there and I was going to move through where his body used to be and everything was going to be great. Didn't quite work out that way. Still worked out pretty reasonably, though. For me, anyway. Not for the bad guy. Alright, so good news is... <laughs> we've explored a whole lot of the forest. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Soften you up a little bit. Since there's magic on the ground. And... That guy's gonna die, and that guy... He might die. He's not gonna die. Alright, so let's not worry about him. It's my new philosophy. Don't worry about the spiky balls. Uh, do worry about the fires, however. Okay, I need to run in here and do that. 
then I think I would be... Oh boy. Alright, let's do that differently. Let's... Uh, well... Let's take care of you. That's a dead end. If you jump up and then I go down, then I am happy and you are sad. So let's make me happy. Alright, I can finish those guys off at any time because it's no threat, so I might as well save them as basically future hit points. I think that makes sense. Okay, and I do need some future hit points. So now let's hit these guys through the floor to get those future hit points back. And let's see, I'm 11.13 out of 11.33. Oh, chicken leg. Alright. So the rest of those guys can stay in there. Oh, there's another chicken leg. Wow. Um, I would prefer not to have to go through that room, so let's keep looking around and see if we can find... That room's not worth it. Any sign of the graveyard? Oh, graveyard, where are you? Night Bracers plus two. Haven't found the boss room either. Up and right, there's still a lot of directions to go that don't involve going through that room I didn't want to. So I think let's try for that. Um, and if fires go away, then I can just exit over here. Great. And let's just go ahead and kill you guys. It's fine. All right, took damage from one. So now I need to get it back. Okay, great. Oh, yeah. Oh, great. That was fortunate. Chakram is available if I want it. Conflux versus Chakram. You know what? I'm going to swap. This is the skill I think I'm best at. And I just think I'll be able to do more with it. Oops. Or waste it better. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, gosh. There's a lot of enemies in here all of a sudden. Oh, that's a mini boss. Right. I was like, why are you so big? <laughs> Okay, well, we killed most of the guys, so we might as well take advantage of that and get our rewards. So let's kill off the rest of the guys. I think there's like one enemy left, and it's you. Yeah. What do we win? Squire Helm plus two. Fair enough. All right, also a gazillion guys in there, but they're more projectile-y kind of enemies. There is a way out in the bottom right. Yuck. Oh, it's only the one guy. Uh, that's a mini boss. So I don't love that, but since it's only one enemy in here, I don't mind. Just taking my 25 hit points and my however much money. Okay, but that's Amon. He's a mini boss. Ouch. And now he's dead. Great. And his flaming fireball will be there forever. Um, how about I back off and then kill you? Great. Most of your projectiles go in the ceiling, so I'm protected. And this is where I can take advantage of having Chakram. Yeah, this will hit you multiple times. And ditto down here. And actually, that might finish you off if I just do another one. Oh, not quite. Alright, there you go. You're dead. And you're almost dead. Actually, I can finish you off that way. Oh boy. Um, great. Everybody wins, except me, I found a dead end. All right, where is the, um... Guess there was a direction. I'll meet you guys when I'm over there. Here's a direction I haven't gone. Ah, uh, hey, Rage. Ah. Ah! You're not even dead yet? Ah. What is this? Ah, I disagree. That's all I can say about this. All right. 
at least the um, Chakram did me good. Okay, great. Take out the Ponky. Um, I don't like all of the skeleton guys above me who are throwing bones at me because I just can't dodge them all, even with the uh, little off-screen hints about what's coming. Too many projectiles. So let's do some of this. Be glad that we have a Chakram. And... Oh, there's a Bareth. Halfus and Bareth. It's a mini-boss. Alright. So there's a mini-boss giant skeleton up there. There is an exit, so I do want to go this way. So let's deal with you. Alright. That actually wasn't so bad. Wish I could have started up there, actually. Alright. And then if I wait here... Ouch. I'm gonna wait again. Okay. Lots of directions to go again. The plants can't shoot through walls. And so I just need to look for the right opportunity to come in here. Oh gosh, there's a visionary though. Ah, uh, multiple of them. Okay, I need to get rid of some of the projectiles in this room. Okay, great. Oh no, it's just one visionary. And he's dead. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Oh boy. There's a lot of stuff happening. Uh, block. <laughs> I actually came up with the right idea in time, uh, but had the wrong execution and forgot for a moment where my block button was. So, that's at least close to success. You gotta take what you can get. Um, there's no way out of this room, is there? Oops, wrong button. Yep, that room's a dead end. There's not even a chest. So let's not go that way. Uh, that room is not worth it. Let's try going. Carefully. Down here. Might as well gamble. I'm not worried about money at this point. I fought most of the things I want, and at this point, it's just kind of like extra stats. So if we get it, it's great. And if we don't get it, it's also fine. Holy chest plate, plus one. All right, managed to kill that guy, and there is a way through this room. So let me do that, and that. Oh boy. Great. I uh, actually played that pretty good for me. I want to hit you in the back. Great. Same with you. Oh, didn't give me a chance. Bad tower guard. Okay. Um, Hulk guard, why don't you sit there? <laughs> Wait, my sword barely hit him. Okay. And so, I have some bad news, which is... We're kind of at another dead end, and it looks like I have to go through that room in the bottom right now. Eh, there is another room. Alright, it's going to take me a little time to get back there, though. Alright, I've made it to the place. What do we got? We got a room where conflux wouldn't have been bad. Uh, lots of enemies. I want to try to take out, yeah, like one or two projectile guys like you. Oh gosh, I should not have admitted this many guys into the field. All right, we got Calmer down here. That's fine then. Great, you're dead. You can join the ranks of the dead. All right, Visionary down here. You can also meet his fallen comrades in the monster afterlife. Is there a monster afterlife? I don't know. These are philosophical prep questions I'm not prepared to answer. Well, I guess there is, right? Because we're going to the graveyard? So I guess kind of in-game or in-mod. Presumably... Well, is that the monster afterlife? It's like my afterlife? I don't know. <laughs> I start saying words, and then I try to make those words make sense. It's just not worth it. Just babble. <laughs> Oh, dear. Okay. Enemies are actually not too bad in this room. 
Just got some tier 2 and 3 guys who are not super leveled up. So I'm basically turning a profit. There we go. Alright. Um, it's just a fairy chest room. I'm not good at this room, so we're going to skip it. What about over here? Well, it's just a chest room. Where? There's one room down there that I still haven't done, and then there's the bottom right. Alright, I'm not worried about the chest. So let's check out the one room down here. I want to find the graveyard again. And that's not it. Alright, so let me make my way over to that other room. Okay, so here's the room I skipped before. And you know what? I think I didn't have Shocker last time I was here. And that's a nice way to deal with the Worgen Florgan. Ouch. Alright, two more should do it. Ah, I... Alright. It's fine. Just go, just go, just go. Don't worry about getting all the furniture, just go. This is dead end too! Wait, what? Let's take a look at this map together. Are there any rooms that I have not gone in? <gasps> way back near the beginning, there were a bunch of things I didn't take. Alright. Um, well, we can do this together. Um, I forgot in the very beginning of it, and just was thinking about the right half of the map, that we basically cleared out the absolute entirety of the forest. Forgetting that I'd left some, actually a lot, of different ways to go right back here at the beginning. So let's check out the different ways and find the graveyard. It will show up eventually. Yikes. Hey. Go away. Also you. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, ah. Alright. Never let skeletons live near the top of the room when you're trying to go down into the bottom of the room. That's today's lesson. Alright, didn't have enough space to fight the Solak, so let's do that. Um, there is still a way to go down, but it was down on the other side. Ouch. So this is not worth coming down to, actually. But I'll take the money since I'm here. And then hunt, just in case there's chicken leg that wanted to reveal itself right there. Sadly, no. Okay. There is a way through this room. So I guess we gotta do it. Ugh. What a nightmare. It is a clever name, right? Nightmare, because it's a horse, so it's a mare. I'll give him credit for that. Okay. Got some hit points back, and you're actually not that bad. Especially if I hit you. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Terrazor, this is gonna stay around for a while. Alright, you guys have a lot of hit points. Ouch. You do too. Get more crits. There we go. Uh, hey, chicken leg. Now I'm feeling good. Still no sign. Alright, so at this point, once again, it makes sense to... Uh, teleport back to the start. And pick one of the other directions. I don't know, at this point the forest is feeling monotonous, so I think I may make a cut and bring you guys back when I finally find the entrance to the graveyard. Alright, this room is a mess of projectiles. I think it's the last way I have to go, so I thought I'd bring you with me and just kind of tank my way through some of it. Um, you know what? Let's do that. That's pretty good. Now you should be a one-hit kill. Three, two, one... Now! Alright, we just got one of the spiky balls inside the window. Oh boy, uh, Plonky, I can't just avoid these. I should use my blocking. Okay. Ah, I didn't block at the right time. I blocked when I didn't need to block, and then let go of my blocking when I did need to block. Silly Brian. Oh boy. Good jump, though. Alright, that's acceptable. Uh, let's just get out this exit. There we go! Hey! Alright. I basically narrowed it down. Gosh, this is pretty far. Eh, it's not actually that far from the teleport. Okay, so we have the entrance to the dungeon available to us now. 
Uh, or the dungeon, the graveyard, whatever it is. Uh, oh, your little fire circle thing managed to get me. I don't like that. Um, also, Worgen, quit coming towards me. All right. I'm going to peek in a couple of rooms over here. Um, but yeah, we're still doing well on health. So the thing... Oops, I have to jump. Um, the thing that makes sense to do uh, is for me to go to the Maya or the Land of Darkness um, and see if I can get any good equipment before we finally take a death on the graveyard spike. Um, and so let's try... I've been staying alive pretty well in the forest. And we do have a lot of healing available to us. So let's go to the Land of Darkness. Um, which is here? It's kind of an odd spot for the darkness to begin. But sure enough, it does. Okay. Wasn't very low down in terms of the... Uh, overall layout of things, but that's fine. Oh gosh, you take a lot of hits. Okay, and I need to practice using my shield. So that's another thing I really want to try to find opportune moments to take advantage of. Alright, this room doesn't need it, and we are back up to full health, so that's great. Oh! That brings us back into the castle. Interesting. So the uh, castle and the darkness are very intertwined over here. Uh, let's try to take out the Terrazor. Ouch. Alright, Terrazor down. Now Gravazor will be much easier. Even if he does take a bunch of swipes to kill. So is this going to be a dungeon room as well? It is. Uh, there, I blocked. You saw it happen. Rather than take... Ouch. Hit point damage. I took magic point damage, basically. Alright, but it appears that most of the Land of Darkness is kind of more down and right. Actually, there's a door over here. Ouch. Okay. Guard box. We need to go. And you know what? There's another guard box over here that also needs to go. And you know what? Critical. Oh, I walked right into you. Why would I do such a thing? Some of you were saying, because you're not very good at the game... You're not allowed to voice such concerns. Um, yeah, let's try to do this methodically. So I'm gonna start... Yikes. I'm gonna start at the bottom left. That's just a dead-end room that I don't need to do anything with. Doesn't look like it has an equipment box. This one goes a bunch of directions, so I guess we're going in here. Oh boy. Um, that actually is okay. So I'm in a good place. Fight off these guys. Oh crap. I walked right into you. That's a lot of damage. Yikes. Okay. Um, taking some damage. Time to be careful. Oh boy. Okay. You're dead, and I can get over here, and I don't need the magic. This brings us back into the castle. I'm just gonna take this guy for the free hit points, basically. 480 hit points. And Solak coming. Uh, you know what? I can get the Ison. There we go. And then let's just take the Solak as a single enemy. There we go. Much more reasonable. Alright, and then down in here, I think I cleared this out, so this should be safe-ish. It's safe enough. That's gonna take forever, so let's do this. There we go. I hit much harder from the front than from the top. Um, I guess there's nothing in this ouch room, so it wasn't worth coming in, really. So the next room is the bottom right. 659 HP. Keep it, okay. Don't need to go in there. It's just money, it looks like. The equipment's usually in boxes with the silver hi highlight, as opposed to the orange one that we saw there. Okay, I'm going to block. There we go. I did it. I actually used my paladin capability. Correctly. I thought you might fall down here. So I was ready for it. Nice. A high rage. 
You're all the rage. And now you're not. Great. Horsey go bye-bye. Rage go bye-bye. Brian go to next room. It does look like a way to go. I don't love it. But it's fine. This is room devoid of monsters. Oh boy. This room is not... This is a death room. Uh, it's not that bad, but it's kind of a penalty if you fall in the room room. No chests. Just monsters. Fortunately not projectile heavy on the monsters. Oh boy. That guy might fall. Okay. He didn't. He does have a projectile on his third strike. So it would behoove me to remember that in the future. Radiators go swing, swing, swing with the projectile. 740 HP. Still haven't found any equipment, though. And this is back to the castle. Alright. What about this way? Also, have I just, like, gotten all the equipment? Like, we haven't seen equipment in a while, it feels like. Um... I can dodge these guys, and I have ah, hit some of them, so I'd like to take advantage of the damage I've already done. Alright, too many of them though. Oh, and I just got more. <laughs> Alright, that was not smart. Um, we might have to exit. If I come back in this entrance, can I get one enemy at a time? Yes. Alright, so let's do that. There's another single enemy, and you're actually pretty easy to dodge. Great. Here's another room exit. Oh boy. Lots of furniture is the reason that I really wanted to do this room. Many chances for chicken legs. Etc. Oh boy! Alright, that was well played. Um, let's hit the Plonky from over here with a bunch of chakrams. So I don't have to worry about him anymore. There we go. And then go pick up some magic that dropped? Yeah. See, you know, that's strategy. Knowing you have magic on the ground, it's a spending the magic. Also, acceptable strategy would just be spending the magic. I hardly ever spend it. And it's there to be spent to help keep you alive. It seems like it's kind of circling around. I don't need that. Uh, there's a chest here, so I guess we'll get it. Uh, I could have... Alright. What do we get? Just money. So what direction do I need to go? I guess upper right of this room? And I think we did clear everything out of this room. Uh, that's got guard boxes. And bones falling on my head, which is not good. Okay. Don't let the skeletons stay above you. Go after them ASAP. This is a lesson we've learned. Okay, that's a guard box 2000. So let's wait until it shoots into the floor. And then get way above it when it's about to shoot again. And did I get all the skeletons? I guess so. Um, you're not gonna die. You are, however. So let's wait patiently for a moment. There we go. Actually, you might be about to die too. All right, great. Furniture for me. Uh, that's a mini boss. I'm gonna take a risk and try to kill it. Alright, it was mostly a tank job, but we got the job done. Uh, this room is just going to have a chest at the top. Can't tell if it's going to be a equipment chest or not. So let's go ahead and try to get up there. It is! Silver chest plate, plus two. Alright, we finally found a piece of equipment, which was the reason we came in here. Um, 
Guess there's more directions to go over yonder. Paladin has been a very good hero, by the way. I haven't really talked about the Paladin. It'd be even better if I used his shield better. Ah, I see the chicken leg. All right, ninja. Let's dodge. Ah. I don't know how I just managed to walk into the ninja guy there. All right, skeleton to the right. Does that help us or Bareth? No, it's just a uh, McRib. With lots of bones to throw. He had a bone to pick with me, and he was going to throw it at me. Um... Could be good to use the chakram. It could be good to use the... Let's do this. Ouch. I should have done it again. Alright. I ended up riding on top of the zomboner. That was not super great. So it's like, nice idea, but there's times to block, and there's times not to block. Okay. That guy would have killed me, I think. So it was better to take a little bit of spike damage. Um, oh, wait. I just wanted to go with the Infernite for a minute. There we go. Oh boy. Alright, managed to get the horse some as well. Okay, good job, magic spell. Killing enemies would be otherwise pretty hard to kill. I see the guard box and he's my new priority. Okay. That was sadly just money, but there's a chicken leg, which makes me happier. And the horsey, his AI doesn't know where to run. Sometimes he turns around at the door, other times he comes all the way into the room. He is one confused horsey. Alright, uh, this would be a good room probably to do some of this. Because there will be more guys on the other side of the room that I'm hitting with each one of these chakrams. Okay, so he's been softened up. So now I can finish him one hit there. And here's the magic refill. All right, and you, oh boy. Uh, is there a reason to go through there? Yes, because there is a exit to the up. So I'd like to kill you. It's easier said than done. All right, you're almost dead. You're almost dead. All right, would you please become dead? I've hit you a bunch of times. What more would you like me to do? There we go. All right, and then the Zomboner, I can totally take care of just like this. Uh, that's mini boss, and there's nothing in that room. Okay, let's go back down. Looking for rooms with chests and equipment. Don't need to do all the other rooms. We have a task, let's try to stick to it. Ah, uh, there is an exit over here. Yeah, let's just go ahead and take it. Alright, pyrite. Another pyrite. Okay, who else? Anybody? Infernite. Alright, you're gonna shoot your projectiles as you dash. Ouch. Ugh. They're fast and unpredictable. Oh boy! Gosh, that guy hits hard! Okay. That was very bad. Could have gotten myself in a really sticky situation there. Uh, also here, actually. Okay. Much better. And three, two, one, hit him! I got one of them in the floor, the other one did manage to bounce out and escape. Is it going to die? Uh, yes. Nice. I see the guard box. Got the guard box. Um, there is a plonky upstairs. There is a way through this room, so I do want to try to go through this room. I need to get rid of the plonky. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Uh, Terrazor, come back down here, where I can hide from the other projectiles. 
and kill you. Oh boy. Okay. Terrors are down. Alright. There we go. 580 HP. I'm keeping an eye on the HP. We might need to teleport out of here. Uh, Solok hasn't seen... Oh, no, he has seen me. Okay. Alright, two crits is great. Some Vishnu going down. Some kind of guard boxy dude over here. Trying to preserve the furniture so I can stand on it safely. Not have to worry about the spike floors. Until I deal with all the bad guys in here. And then... We can go back for all the furniture. Although, I don't need the magic points. Uh, chicken leg would do me a whole lot of good, though. So I think it is worth breaking all the furniture, just in case there is one. And then we've got a lot more exits that we can take. Oh, that's going to be a pain in the neck room to get through. That's just a dead end trap. But yeah, I feel myself running out of stamina because I've been playing for like an hour and want to head to the graveyard at some point. So we might end up taking an intentional death. Well, kind of always take an intentional death to go to the graveyard, but like an intentional death while we still had a bunch of hit points to work with is what I mean. Um, but don't take a death before then. Yeah, I'm getting pretty low here. Let's peek in one more room. Uh, yeah. Let's just get out of here. I will meet you guys at the graveyard. Let's all go to the graveyard. Let's all go to the graveyard. Let's all go to the graveyard and see if we can figure this crazy area out. After a too long cutscene where we fade to black. Let's all go to the graveyard. Okay. Take advantage of the chests. And... Yeah, let's just explore. Let's just pretend that this is an area where there's, like, a thing I need to find. And go try to find it. Ouch. Uh... Oh, boy. Alright. Oh, gosh, that's a mini-boss, isn't it? Um, you know what? Let's do this. Right, and that's the other thing. Yeah, if I'm playing like I'm trying to find something, we don't need to kill every enemy. What we need to do is get as much exploration done as possible. So let's focus on the exploration. Alright, we're going to try to stay focused. You definitely need to go. Gosh, you take so many hits. And everybody deals so much damage. Like, the monsters in here are really well leveled up. Not joking around. Alright, but we're gonna try to peek in as many rooms as we can. Uh, and if that's really my goal, then I should at least peek in here. Although this room might change. And I should peek in that next room in a moment here, too. It's a safe place to stand for now. Great. And let's deal with the Gravazor. And then we can peek in that room that I just walked past. I presume it's going to be like a... Oh, gosh. New enemies in here. Um, like a question mark room or something that we're going to find that's going to have something. I don't know. Alright. And I've got plenty of magic, so don't be afraid to use it. That's the other thing. I've not been using enough magic. Alright. Alright. Um, there is another exit out of this room to the top. So let's take the other exit out. This ended up being a dead end. And I don't even care for the chest in it. Well, like it looks like it's just a normal money chest. But there's always the possibility that like one of these chests is going to like have a key or something unlock the door to the boss room or something crazy like that, so probably should. Oh gosh! This room's different. And I knew it was going to be different because the map had updated. And then I ignored that. Um, poop. Uh, okay. We have a problem. 
Oh, wait, we got a big problem. I might die right here. Don't die right here. That would be serious. Foolish, foolish, foolish. Okay. Did a pretty good job staying alive against the Bulbasaurus. Let's deal some damage that way. The other guys don't seem to be moving right now, and so I'm going to hide in the corner while they're unmoving. Oh boy. Uh, so much for that. Alright, got rid of one of them. Okay, you're coming toward me. So let's kill you. Spiky ball, you're going to get incidentally hit. Hey, and you broke... Okay, great. Okay. <laughs> Room got a whole lot more manageable, and we're still alive. Yikes! The knockback. All the knockback. Okay. Let's try... To just explore more rooms. Alright, that's gonna be kind of a dead end. So let's go this way. Oh boy. Don't be afraid to block. If you think you need to block. Blocking is good. You're a paladin. That's what you're born to do. You're carrying this big shield around. Uh, this room doesn't look great. This room is filled with enemies again. I should probably leave one enemy in each room. Well, I've seen the room reset, I think, when there's still enemies in it, though. I don't know. Uh, let's leave that guy there. Here's... Hey, hey, hey. Oh, is this a stat upgrade? Uh, I mean, we like stat upgrades, but... I saw a chest that looked like it might be a good thing. Like a key or something. Okay, that guy's totally gonna die. So we'll take advantage of that. Horsey. You can die, too. Uh, chain text, dude. You know what? You could die, too. Spike ball, you stay over there while I fight this dude. Alright. Uh, one more hit, and now two more hits. Alright, and neither of them were crits, so we still need another hit. There we go. Alright, you stay away. Oh, that was fortunate. You get right on the corner, and so I think, like, the game glitched or something there. And if I stick around, you're just going to go bouncing all crazy, so don't worry about you. Okay, where else could I go? I guess down and right. Assuming the room hasn't changed. Oh boy. Uh, uh, I couldn't quite make it. I thought I was going to make it. I did not make it. Oh, gosh. Uh, you need to go. Uh, you... Oh, gosh. Need to go. You have gone. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's try to get to the right. Oh, how are you not in range? Bad, bad, bad. Uh, I can do this and actually get some damage on you guys. Oh, no. Oh, boy. No. Ah. All right, Terrazor, you need to go. Also, all the enemy other enemies in this room, you need to go. I, I don't know how to do this. There's nowhere to stand. I mean, I could jump over... Ugh, I'm about to die. Um, Yeah, graveyard just too tough. Alright, well, if the graveyard is... I mean, I'd like to... Ugh, now there's more enemies in there. Alright, well... Now oh, they just keep switching on me. Ah, the graveyard! Why a graveyard? Oh! And now this room changed, too. That's a really hard area, and I don't know what to do about it. Um... Like, I wonder if I should just move forward and, uh... Kill... The boss and move on to New Game Plus 2. I'm just not sure what to do. Um... We haven't played an assassin in a long time, so let's play an assassin. And we have a bunch of money, so let's go ahead and purchase all the rest of the castle upgrades. Except I don't think I'm going to purchase the dragon guy unlock or whatever. Uh, let's just do it. And then we'll have everything done here in the manor. So basically there's no more money to spend anywhere in the manor. And so with the rest of our money, I'm just going to dump them into stats. And... 
Honestly, I feel like attack up is the thing that like helps everybody the most. So let's take a bunch of attack ups. And then is there any chance that I can afford anything else? Yes, I can afford some health. Great. Alright, so next time we'll have a crazy assassin who hits for 208 or 832. Kind of alternating. Um, yeah, I hope as always you guys are having a great day. And I'll see you again soon for more modded Rogue Legacy. For now, bye-bye.